Okay, so I was kind of questioning myself whether or not to make this video. Why is that phrase so hard to say? What? But um, before I do get into the video, I've uh, been asked to shout someone out. Okay, so um, here he is. It's my man Toscano TV. Um, his, there are links to his channel in the description. Well, there, there, there's a link to his channel in the description. So um, go and subscribe to him or I will rob all the food from your fridge. After this video though, because uh, I need watch time. Right then, so for those of you who have been living under a rock since 2005, I'm making a video on morgues and if you don't know who he is, then he's a challenge YouTuber, even though the majority of the things he does it aren't challenges, like, there's nothing challenging about them. So, uh, here are his uploads, and, um, yes, they, they are incredibly difficult to sit through. If you say really naughty, rude things in the comments, then I'm not going to be very happy, because you lot need to appreciate what I'm doing here. This is, this, like, the, an accomplishment like watching a morgues video should be something on a similar level as... I don't know, swimming from England to America, I don't know, but that is literally how hard it is. But um, either way, let's begin, because, alright, I'm gonna watch his first video, which is what I commonly tend to do on this channel. I spend 24 hours in freezing cold ice. The ice prison is official. Jesus, mate, look at all these mid-rolls. And also, that isn't what you showed in the thumbnail, it shows you literally inside a block of ice. But to be honest, if you thought he was actually going to freeze to death, then you must be stupid. Watch to the end. Yeah, because you want everyone to watch all those mid-rolls, so you get that 80k that you wanted that month, so you can buy a Tesla Model S. And yes, that is actually my dream car, but I'm probably not going to get it, considering when I'm older, I'm probably going to be working at a beer bar, so... I ordered $2,000 of solid ice blocks, and I am going to build my own ice prison and trap myself inside it for 24 hours. Well, Morgan, I, I really aspire to be you. Maybe if I do, then I, I, I'll get that Tesla Model S that I've always wanted from clickbaiting my mates into thinking that I'm going to freeze to death. So far, guys, as you can tell, we've built the fortress four blocks high, but we've run into a problem. As we built the fortress higher and higher, the ice blocks started to slip and fall. And if one of these 27 kilogram ice blocks falls and lands on my head, I think we all know what would happen. So we had the genius idea to add cardboard in between each layer. So hopefully they don't fall on my head and kill me. Morgan, mate, I, I, I really don't care. I don't understand why that segment's there. Like, it doesn't impact the video in any way. Ladies and gentlemen, the ice prison is officially complete. So now there's no more waiting. It's time for the challenge to begin. I've got my wetsuit on under my clothes to help keep me dry. I've got my bag of supplies kindly prepared by mum and I'm ready to go. Do you reckon those are just wet glass blocks? Mayonnaise? Cinnamon? Baked beans? Mealworms? So your mum's packed you the worst food possible while you're on the verge of freezing to death. <gasps> Martin! Look at Morgan over there! It looks like he's freezing! Morgan, are you okay? That question actually needs to stop being asked. Let me paint you a picture, right? Someone is literally dead on the floor with blood leaking out of them, and someone has the nerve to go up to this dead body and say, Oh, excuse me, are you okay? Yes, calm, I'm pretty much dead, yeah, but like, man can just walk it off, innit? Have you brought me something to warm me up? Yeah, Morgan, I'm sure this will help. <laughs> oh, that's freezing! Haha, <laughs> good old bit of banter. Now, guys, at this point, the video took a turn for the worse. The weather conditions had got so severe that the ice sculpture was now completely dangerous to be around. The 27 kilogram blocks of solid ice were starting to melt, slip, slide, and there was nothing I could do about it. I was trapped inside my own 24 hour death trap. No, you weren't. There was literally a doorway. If I were you, I would have just walked through it. Literally, I, I don't get why all these YouTubers say that they don't want to do the video. 
but they still do the video. Like, wh wh why are you doing YouTube? If you don't want to do the video, nobody is forcing you to. Just don't make it, or quit the challenge and say that you've... Wh wh what are you doing? Okay, so he hits his head on, like, a few kilograms of ice. And then look what happens. Come on, mate. We're almost there. Let's get you checked out. Guys, we've just arrived at the hospital. Pain is getting really, 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 really bad. Morgan, you were on the verge of dying, but you still thought it would be worth looking at the camera and then explaining for 40 seconds about, oh, my head hurts, my foot hurts. Like, no one, no one cares. Okay, I'm going to move on to another video of his. Now, this one was uploaded a few months ago, but it's, it's definitely up there with some of the worst Morgs videos I've ever seen. It's a video where he stays at the worst reviewed hotel. I think that was not a good position to record the voiceover with. But, um, yeah, here we go. Guys, I'm known for spending the night in the craziest places. I spent the night in my girlfriend's house without her knowing. I spent the night in a sandcastle. I spent the night in a closed trampoline park. But trust me when I say nothing compares to where I'm staying tonight. What a public hotel. And you're probably thinking, how bad can staying in a hotel really be? Very bad. My life could potentially be on the line. No, it isn't. A hotel with bad customer service and uncomfortable beds isn't going to kill you, Morgan. There are even more mid-rolls on this video. I actually, I, I can't believe it. While now, but I can't not do it. It was the worst experience of my life. My friend and I were staying at the largest room in the place and had to spend the whole night sleeping with the lights on. Why? After opening all the drawers, I found something quite different to what I was actually looking for. A holy Bible. It did not only give us all the creeps, but it also had me get back home with a new friend. Yes. A ghost. And for those who won't believe me, that's completely fine. But I warned all of you. I had to go through different things to get rid of it. I am never setting foot in that so-called hotel. Ever. Again. I'm sorry, but that just never happened, did it? Actually, no, no, no. I, I, I did go to a hotel. I think I must have been like seven. I went to a hotel, I opened the drawer, and I did actually see a holy bible in there. But I didn't make any mates, so, yeah, I'm very disappointed about that fact. We three girls stayed here for one night. Thought the room was fine for what we needed, but as we slept, someone came in and robbed us of our cash. Just when I thought ghosts was the biggest thing to worry about, these three girls got robbed in the hotel. You know it's not actually the hotel's fault that they got robbed, it's their fault for not locking the door. Martin, are you sure the taxi's dropped us at the right place? I think so. I mean, it's not what I was expecting. Me neither. Morgan, this doesn't sound like what you were describing to us. What do you mean, guys? I, I think it looks pretty good, right? Okay, I don't even think that's the actual hotel. It literally just looks like some random building. It, it doesn't even have a sign saying that it's a hotel, so I don't know why it would be one. There's a random chair on top of this really ugly carpet, which looks absolutely awful. Why do you actually care about the fact that there's a chair there? Like, it, it's, a, it's a chair. It's there for people to sit on. The light on and this is all we've got. It's dark. Let's try and get some extra light. Let's check out the bathroom. Oh my gosh. Bro, that looks like something straight out of a horror film. The light literally flickered before it came on. Oh yeah, that, that that's what scares me most about all horror films. You could have had the scariest story ever, but none of that compares to the fact that a, a light flickers on and off. Yard sale, bro, what the hell is going on in here? Morgan, I can't stay here, I'm sorry, but I can't. Let's just get another key and check out the other room. It's bound to be better. It's a double room. Probably better quality, cleaner. Yeah, you know what, Mum? I think I agree with you. I don't even want any of us in this room, yet alone all of us. Let's go. Before it gets too late. Let's see if this key actually works. I'm actually considering cutting this video short. I'm getting so bored of watching Morgs review a hotel. Oh! Morgan. Don't like it here. 
Guys, I can't say I'm shocked. This bathroom does not look any better than the first one. If anything, it just looks like a more creepy version. There is nothing creepy about that bathroom, Morgan. What are you on about? This tiny little bin is literally the same size as my flipping Yeezy. Wow, Morgan, you've got Yeezys. I literally don't care. How's that scary? Just open the door. Yo, who's there? Hello? Hello? Anybody there? I don't think anybody's there. Hello? Hello? Well, guys, there's there's no one there. What a surprise. Do you know why? Because it was his mum who knocks on the door. There was no, no one actually there, so... Okay, guys, Um, I actually have a headache, and I feel like I'm going to throw up, so... Morgan's videos are so boring that they've given me a head- they've pretty much made me feel ill. So, uh, I'm probably gonna go and throw up because I literally got that bored. Um, yeah, subscribe to Toscano TV. His link is in the description. If you don't subscribe to him, remember, I'm stealing all the food from your fridge. Um, yeah, subscribe to my channel. Follow me on Twitter. I have no idea what I'm saying. I just want to end the video so that I don't get even more sick. So, uh, yeah, have a nice day and in a bit, lads. Okay, I forgot to say this in the video, but um, please don't go and send hate over to Morgan. It's not needed, even though he's pretty much making us ill, but still, don't go and send hate over to him, and uh, yeah, goodbye.